Hey guys, we're going to show you how you can use Rufus to create a custom Windows 11 install disk. Now this is going to allow us to skip the TPM, secure boot, and RAM requirements for installing Windows 11. So you can install it on a ton of other systems you otherwise wouldn't be able to. It also allows us to create a local account instead of being forced to use a Microsoft account. And it does a few other convenient things too. Now Rufus is a free tool that you can download for free. I'll, I'm going to give you a link to where you can download that in the description of the video so just you know check the link in the description and here we go we're going to show you how you can actually do this with Rufus all right so here we go here's the GUI and um, yeah we're, we're gonna basically stick with this so we're gonna be burning from an ISO and we're gonna go here hit select brings up a file selector we're gonna select our recently downloaded Windows 11 ISO latest at the time and there we go now that we've got that selected most of these other options we're just gonna you know leave them all as uh you know i'm poking around here a little bit but i'm gonna mostly leave these as is we're, we're not going to change much here it is going to give us some some of the options that we mentioned just previously you, you'll see that in a minute once we actually start the the install so yeah everything's pretty normal here um we, we have our drive at the top make sure you select the correct usb drive i i did that already um, so, you know, the USB drive you want to write to, and here are the options. Remove the requirement for four, four gigs of RAM, secure boot, and TPM2. You know, re remove requirement for a Microsoft account so you can have a local account. And here I am creating a local account with, my, with a username that I'm selecting myself. And it lets you do some other things that you may or may not care about. So, like here I'm calling myself user1 because I'm, I'm created with my usernames. You know, you, you can set up. Uh, you know, you, you, you can uh, set this thing here. You can set, um, yeah, you, you, you can disable data collection automatically so you don't have to go through and click, click, click and disable, you know, BitLocker. And then just say, it says, hey, warning, we're going to overwrite your disk. Say, go ahead. And there you go. It moves along. Now, this part is sped up 200 times. This actually took a while because it's a big ISO, but I sped this up really fast. And there we go. We're done. We've created the disk. That's, that's how easy it is. Basically, you just... You know, you run the tool, Rufus, you select your Windows ISO, and, you know, you select the drive you want it to go to, um, and basically that's it. Hit start, you know, select all those nice options that you want, and hit start, and it'll just write the disk for you. All you have to do is just let it sit there for a while, and then it's done. Now you can use that disk to boot your computer and install Windows 11 in a much more convenient way. So good deal. If you found this useful, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know. And um, yeah, definitely hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on our great content. We do like 3D printing, electronics, systems, Linux, Windows, Mac OS. We, we do like, um, you know, networking, coding, all, all sorts of programming projects, Raspberry Pis, you know, all, all sorts of terrific tech related stuff that you want in your YouTube feed. So definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so YouTube will actually let you know when we come out with new videos. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.